Hello and welcome to SAP PO Interface Development with Standard Adapter course. I'm very much excited to share with you a course that helps you learn how to build interface using SAP PO Standard Adapters. I am Srinivas Vanamala, instructor for this course. I have close to 10,000 students taking my course with some of my course listed as bestseller in SAP PO category. This course is a complete practical and hands-on course for SAP PO interface development. You will learn how to develop interface using the standard adapters. Let me show you what you will learn in this course. First you will learn how to build file to file interface with file adapter. In this scenario you will learn how to build file source and receiver adapter to pull the file and place the file in the live FTP server. Next you will learn how to build interface using JDBC to JDBC scenario with JDBC adapter. Here you will learn how to read the database records and insert them into another database using an Oracle database. The next in the SOAP to SOAP scenario, you will learn how to build your own SOAP web service using Eclipse. Then call that web service from SAP PO sender and receiver SOAP interface. Here you will get to know how to create your own web service and configure it in PO to call it. In the HTTP AE adapter scenario, you will learn how to build your own HTTP service using Jersey Java library in Eclipse. At the same time, you will learn how to configure and call it from your PO system. In the REST adapter scenario, you will learn everything about the REST protocol and build scenarios like REST to file, file to REST, connecting to a live REST API in the internet. Then you will learn how to connect your SAP ECC system with SAP PO system with Arch destination port and partner profile configuration in ECC. In IDOC AE adapter scenario, you will learn how to build IDOC to file, file to IDOC scenario. You will also learn how to trigger IDOC from ECC and also how to verify the IDOC in ECC along with the partner profile configuration as well. Next in the RFC adapter scenario, you will learn how to configure RFC lookup with the interface and then learn to execute the RFC in ECC, import the RFC in the ESR, test end-to-end -end scenario from ECC. Finally, in the mail adapter scenario, you will learn how to send email notification from PO system. This will be like a file to mail adapter interface where you will understand how to configure your mail channel to send emails. Well, that's about the interface development. Let's look at the tools and the programs you will learn in this course. You will learn SOAP UI tool which helps you to test SOAP and API. You will also learn Postman which is another tool to test your API interfaces. We will use WE19 testing tool in SAP ECC. You will learn how to trigger an IDOC. You will also log in into our FTP server using FileZilla. In JDBC to JDBC scenario, we will use an Oracle database. We will create some tables there, we will insert some table and we will verify the data in the database. Apart from just calling the interface, we will also build our own web service using Eclipse. So here some Java skills are required, but I'll show you step by step how to create your own web service and call your own web service from a PO system. Then last we will also create our REST API using Java Jersey libraries, which will be helpful to write your own functionalities and call it from your interface. Well, here is the overall integration architecture scenario overview. The good thing about this course is that you will not just learn to develop, but also you will learn how in real time these scenarios fit in the business process. These are the exact integration scenarios you will learn and build the interface in this course. You will also learn what is the business requirement, like what is the ASIS process, what is the 2B process, and finally the integration requirement for each and every adapter. Once you understand the business process, then you will start building the interface in SAP PO. So this way you actually learn the business process, then you start developing that interface. So once you finish the course, you will have a solid real time experience on how the business process requirement looks like and how the actual development is done in SAP PO. Okay, so let's jump right in the course.